Seems like FMS got the memo. Less Jeeps, more Toyotas. Yeah, so if you're into small scale crawlers, I have something really exciting for you to check out today, the 1983 Hilux from FMS. If you're a small scale crawler fanatic, this is one to check out. You know their chassis, they're a lot of fun, and the bodies are just so detailed. But check out this packaging that this rig comes in. Neat sleeve on the outside for the box, and we got the manual. But the styrofoam packaging is just really cool. It just ensures that you get a you know truck that hasn't been damaged uh, in transport when you, oh, open the box top here you know the transmitter is nicely wrapped check out the transmitter just love this little transmitter it's got all the trim functions that you need under the top panel here foam grip and just really easy to use even the button to control the led lights that the truck has now let's check this thing out let me just slide it out really gentle here now, I've, I've already actually checked this thing out. I could not wait to take a look at it. This thing is a little bit different from the crawlers that we've uh, tested here from FMS already. Uh, let me just show you really quick. It does come with a USB charger and one extra side step. But I don't know why, maybe uh, it might break off at some point. I don't know, but there is an extra side step in there. But check this Hilux out, really great look to it. It's got this massive bed. I almost wanna go and cut out a scale sheet of plywood just to put in the back of the bed and drive around with it. Pretty cool that they, they went and got these proportions right on this truck. Uh, but anyway, let's start off with the front here. You know, really good look to the grill. The lenses are separate pieces. We've got LED lights behind there, uh, even lenses in the lower bumper here, but I don't think those light up. Lower balance has some detail and and people crack on me when I say balance, but uh, I've heard a lot of automotive guys call it a balance, so I'm gonna call it a balance. Uh, let's see here, uh, up to the hood, the hood does open up. That's where you access all of the electronics. There's the speed controller in there. The battery is already installed. It slid in the back. There's a little tray in the back there uh, where it sits and you of course slide it out to go and charge it. There's a switch on the speed controller. Just press that down. You can see all these black wires here. Those are for the LED lights for the headlights and actually for the tail lights. But uh, this kind of just snaps into place. And actually, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that this body is painted. So right here, when you pop open the hood, you could actually see where they had some tape over these holes and this body is painted, which, you know, with a lot of the small scale crawlers, you're just getting a molded body. And uh, this thing is painted from the factory. And I think it's just the cab that's painted. No, maybe it is the uh, the bed as well, because there is a slight color variation between the, the bed and the, the cab, I should point out to you. But uh, nonetheless, it is cool that it is painted. Uh, but the hood snaps in the place, nice clear windshield and windows, uh, full interior. So you could probably go and take this thing apart, detail the interior if you want to. It looks like it has a, a basic decal for the gauge cluster, gray seats, black dashboard, steering wheel. It doesn't seem like the steering wheel turns in this one though. No, it definitely does not. Nice chrome mirrors on the side. The wipers are pretty loose on this. They just kind of slide around on the truck. Maybe I'll go and glue that down later. But check out this bed, just a massive bed, nice pinstriping on the side. The tailgate actually comes in a bag in the packaging and I had to go and snap it into place, but that's that's really easy to do. You can kind of see the LED lights, uh, the wiring going through the back of the bed, not too big of a deal there. I'm just really happy that it does have LED lights. Rear bumper tucked away. And then let's get down to the chassis. And, and it's pretty much like the Cruiser that we've seen before, the LC80 and uh, the FJ Cruiser, but it does look a bit longer here. And you could see that they've actually extended this rear drive shaft. They've extended the links on here and the shocks are laid down and they are the, still the friction dampers, but uh, I've kind of gotten used to it at this point after I've driven so many of these FMS chassis. Uh, everything else is really well built on this truck. We've got ball bearings in the drivetrain, good looking axles, the smaller 050 motor, and then uh, the aluminum frame plates here. It just, it's a really well built rig and it's all about the detail on these things. And this 
This scale Hilux body looks really, really awesome. Now let's just kind of wrap things up here with the wheels and tires. So we've got these larger Cooper tires on these nice chrome wheels, really period correct for this truck. And it looks like they're probably gonna grip pretty well for this small scale vehicle. Nice soft compound on here. I don't think there's any foam in them actually. Uh, but it is a beadlock wheel, so I could probably go take that apart later if I wanted to. But it's really about the fun, uh, the drive with these things, the scale look of them out on the rock. So why don't we just go find a cool place to crawl and see how this thing does on the trails and maybe climbing up some rocks. Well, I wound up having a lot more fun with the Hilux than I thought I was gonna have. I wasn't really sure what to expect. You know, after comparing it to the FJ and the LC80, I thought that this one wasn't gonna be able to do what they could do. And those are some pretty cool little crawlers. And this one here, since it's got more of a truck stance to it, I thought it was just gonna kind of go over some dirt terrain and stuff like that, but it actually wound up being pretty capable and a lot of what it was able to tackle was just pure motoring through stuff, which was actually a lot of fun. Um, but it is a fun rig. I took it over to that dirt lot. There was a lot of mounds of, of uh, debris and stuff to crawl over there. Uh, the suspension articulation does work out pretty well. I mean, it is a little bit limited with this lower stance of this pickup truck here. Um, you definitely got to watch your approach and descent angles, especially with all that overhang of the bed in the back. Uh, but all things considering, it did pretty well. And I mean, I even went and motored through some mud with this thing and it took it on without a problem. It was really cool to see. As you can see, I didn't hold back with this thing. It is all muddy. It is all scratched up. The front of it, I just bashed through dirt with it. The steering radius on this isn't as good as the FJ with the longer wheelbase here. It was definitely noticeable that uh, it took a little bit wider turn than the other cars I tested. Uh, there is still some balance to the suspension. We've got those spring shocks on there, those friction dampers basically. And that's something we all know about the FMS vehicles. If they just came out with some oil shocks for these things, it would be game over. These things are just awesome. And, and they are as it is. I mean, it actually, in some respects, it's kind of cool to see the thing bouncing around when you're uh, crawling some of that terrain and stuff. But uh, like messing around with the LED lights, they're actually kind of dim, just like a 1983 Toyo Hilux would be, in my opinion. I, I was definitely impressed with how this thing worked. And I could certainly see this being a lot of fun for the Toyota enthusiast. Now, uh, any dislikes? Well, uh, the winch wipers kept flopping around on me and they're they're pretty loose in here i could just go put a spot of glue in to fix that uh, again the the springs kind of make this a little bit bouncy which takes away a, a little bit from it 
And then the final thing is the uh, body set here. It definitely looks like there's two different colors between the cab and the, the bed. So for those of you that are really into the fine details, you might notice that. Uh, actually, one of my friends pointed it out to me when they were checking out the truck. But uh, when I went to drive it, my friend Dean was with me, Jeff from 413RC was with me, and they were both actually very impressed with this truck. Both took it wheeling as well and, and had a good time with it. So it's a great little rig. I, I'm really looking forward to uh, testing the K10, which we have here as well. That's gonna be on the channel soon. So if you wanna see more FMS reviews, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw this video a like, Questions or comments, let me know down below and we'll see you back soon for some more RC driver videos.